Hi Cupcakes, how are you doing? Um, first and foremost, I definitely would like to say thank you for all of the love and the compliments and all of the emails. By God, I didn't think that I would love this much. I, I'm just one person trying to make a difference in this world and to know that there are a lot of people out here who find you know, inspiration and hope within me. It really means a lot to me. Um, I'm still not up at my highest point, but I am, you know, I'm still here. And um, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so, you know, thank you. Um, but my, my thing that I want to um, address is um, there is... Um, I have a, a subscriber on my Facebook, you know who you are, and um, I just posted something asking everyone, you know, not just on Facebook, but even on here, if you have a topic that you want me to talk about, just please let me know, and I'll definitely get back to you, and we'll discuss it um, as soon as possible, um, or whenever I can, but in my... Um, I, I, in the message, I basically um, told everyone that you know that, and one of my subscribers, which I know who you are, um, you basically was asking me something about, um, you know, you being, you know, with someone that you've currently gotten out of a relationship with, and you basically put down that um, you was in a long-term relationship, and, um, Apparently, one of you guys moved away, and the relationship slowly died, not because of you, but because of your significant other, and you were basically trying to get over that person, um, and it, it's not because of the fact that, you know, you leaving, well, them leaving you wasn't because of the fact that they cheated on you, or you did something wrong, um, but you wanted to know basically, um, what... I felt about that and um, that it being that, you know, the relationship being that they said that they wanted to be free and be single and all that stuff. Um, I, myself, have, um, I have done long distance relationships before. Um, not talked about it, so yes, I have been in long distance relationships and um, I have discovered that communication is key um, in any type of relationship um, but I remember this one vivid relationship that I was in um, about two years ago um, I was madly in love with um, this guy which I will not say their name their name which will just be remain anonymous but um, this person I love them to death um, I was, you know, in love with them. Um, they have moved on, but in our relationship, we had an, an amazing relationship. Um, you know, they were really good to me. Um, but the thing that, that caused us to drift away was I wind up moving away. Um, it was nothing that they did wrong. They were, again, really good to me. Um, we had a great relationship and everything. Um, what caused me to move away was I was having, uh, well, I was down living in Florida, South Florida, and, um, I was staying with family members of mine, and, uh, a family member of mine, you know, their significant other did not basically approve of my lifestyle, and, um, and it caused a whole lot of discrepancy, and, it came down to either my family member would have to go or I had to go. So, I had to go. And it, I remember it like yesterday, it was the worst day of my life. Um, I did everything. I tried so hard to find a house, apartment, so I didn't have to leave and everything. And my ex at the time, I've never seen him cry at all. But that particular day, he cried, cried, cried. And I remember us on the trial rail, he was supposed to have stayed back, he didn't stay back. Um, he 
wind up coming, you know, with me because we were in love. And, um, you know, I, it, it really broke my heart because when he had to go back, that was the last time I saw him. And it really broke my heart. And I just was like, oh my God, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do, you know? So for me, it, it took time for me to get over him because I felt like he was the one for me, you know? Um, but I've come to learn that God does things for a reason and, and God is the type of person, and I'm not trying to make it as a religious thing or nothing like that because that's not what this is, is about, but, um, I'm not going to say that I don't know God for myself, you know, it's not it, but, you know, it is it's true, you know, God has, has things for you and he has a purpose for whatever it is and I say this to you you know in order for you to get over this whole situation it's going to take time you know but I would suggest you know if this person was a bad person to you and you know from what I'm reading what I know so far I, I don't I didn't read anything saying that they were bad but you know if they were then get rid of everything you know pictures letters anything in connection with them just get rid of all of it because all it's going to do is make you reminisce about you and him you know and you know you don't want to dwell on on that you know and being that your significant other was feeling that they wanted to be free that lets me know that they were not even into the relationship to begin with because if they were then they would not be thinking about that you know so I say this to you, it's nothing that you did wrong, nothing that you did wrong, and there will definitely be somebody out there for you, um, and I definitely send my prayers and condolences to you because you are an amazing person, you are a beautiful person, and you show me love every freaking time I post something, you know, you always show me love, and, and I don't mind speaking about that, you know, and I will definitely keep you in my prayers because... You know, I know how hard that is. That is really hard to, to put time and effort into somebody and get used to them being there. And and just like that, it's all gone, you know. And you're thinking to yourself, how the hell did I get here? You know, you know, don't, don't give up. You know, there is somebody, some man out here for you. Someone that God has specifically for you. Do not give up and do not give in, you know, stay strong, I know that it is hard, I really do, I truthfully know, you know, which goes into something that I also wanted to say too, which was, everybody is going through something, I'm going through something, everybody that I know is going through something, you know, but you have to stay strong, you have to stay strong, because it is, it's a purpose and a reason why it's happening, you might not know why right now, why all this bullshit, as I call it, but why all this negativity is surrounding you, why you getting negativity, why things ain't working right, why you going to your job is not working right, why, you know, every time you try to be with somebody it's not working right, why whatever. But everything happens for a reason, you know, and you cannot give in. You have to stay strong even when you don't want to because that that strength is is what's gonna be the defining point in your life and you'll look back on this I promise you you will look back on this day and you will say you know what I went through all of this and it was hard you know but I persevered through it I got through it and I'm a stronger person I'm wiser now because I actually know my own worth you know and there's nothing wrong with being by yourself a lot of people think that when when you break up with somebody or if you're single or whatever that it's something wrong with you being single or just you getting over somebody, you know, that's hard within itself. It really is. And it's going to take time for that. But it's nothing wrong with being by yourself because you discover things about yourself that you never knew about yourself at all, period. You know, when, when I was by myself, um, I discovered a lot of things about myself. I mean, a lot of things about myself. And it made me a stronger person. It made me look deep within myself and say, you know what? Why can you, what do you want out of a person? And I spoke that person into existence. 
you know, and I, I basically would just say to you, just stay strong, you know, don't give up, don't give in, and you know I'm here for you, and you know that I go hard for you, and all of my cupcakes, anyone who is going through something like this, don't ever give up, don't ever give in, you know, everybody is going through something, but I promise you, the something that you're going through is not in vain, and that's that's what I've discovered from my previous videos. Is is even though I'm going through something, I never knew how loved I was until I started getting all those messages, all those comments. I never thought that that little old me would be recognized for someone as genuine as someone as you know strong and all this. I mean, you guys show me so much love. And all I can just say is just thank you, you know. So so for you, I say this to you. Do not give up. Do not give in. And I promise you, the one, the, 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 the first shall be last and the last shall be first. That is a quote in the Bible, you know. And even though you might feel like you're the last, I promise you. I promise you it's going to be a man out there that's going to treat you like you're the first. I promise you on that. So, you know, don't. Don't give up. Do not give in. This whole, you know, this whole, you know, thing that you're going through, it is, it's, it's something that I always say when, when I'm going through something bad, it prepare God is preparing me for something greater than I can ever expect. So guess what? That man who let you go and who was not there for you and is not there for you now, do not give up. Do not give in because God is preparing you for somebody better. And any anybody who's ever heard something like well you know what there ain't gonna be nobody out here who, who can do it like me or whatever you know what you tell them you tell them you damn right it's somebody out here who's better than you because when you when you go through something that traumatic it's hard to get over that it really is you know but as long as as you know that everything it, it happens for a reason and a purpose for it you know that's all that matters because you know that at the end of at the end of everything that you're going through it's not in vain and it's in everything is it's preparing you for something greater you know so don't give up don't think that this is the end don't think that there will never be somebody out here meant for you don't say why me you know what i'm saying why all this is happening to me don't even blame yourself it was meant to happen it's not your fault you didn't do anything wrong, you know, and unfortunately, the guy will notice that. He'll know that. And if he doesn't, oh, well, too bad. That's his loss because you are a beautiful person inside and out, you know, and when you know your worth, I promise you, there will see, there'll be somebody else out there who will notice that same worth and same inner beauty and outer beauty that you don't even have to even to even worry about anything. You know what I'm saying? Because that person will bring what you what you lack, you know, or add on to it, you know. So don't let what he say bother you. Don't even don't even do that. And I know this is it's hard to do that because I, I know it's hard to get over somebody that you invest so much time into. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to take time, you know, but you know that I'm here, you know, and you know that I love you no matter what. You know, and that goes not just only for my cupcake who, who wrote this into me, but anybody who's going through something like this. You know, I'm always here for you guys. I love y'all more than y'all know, you know, and, and I thank y'all for being here with me on my journey and going hard for me, you know. But, you know, I, I just say just keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up, you know, and don't listen to anything sad. Don't do that. I learned that. Don't listen to nothing sad at all. Listen to something happy. Something that's upbeat, I promise you, it will change your whole outlook. Just do that, I promise you. Whatever it is, listen to something happy whenever you feel sad, you know. But without that being said, you know, I love you. God bless each and every last one of y'all. Don't eat a cupcake, be one. And, you know, thank you again so much for all of the love and support. And I promise you guys, I will be back as soon as I can, um, you know, Again, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, just please let me know. And um, I will, you know, up upload some more videos and stuff like that, which I have some that I have wanted to talk about. So I'll have them up here, all right? I love you guys. God bless you.
Tschüss.